Okay, today I'm going to be putting a plasma ball in my vacuum chamber. So what I'm going to do to test how this reacts under vacuum is I'm going to try to cut a hole in this so that when I pump out the air in the vacuum, it's also going to pump out the gas inside of this. And I'm going to see if we can still get electric arcs while it's under vacuum. So in the sphere here is some noble gas and at the center there, is an alternating current going to very high voltages. So when you bring your finger near it, because your finger can be more easily polarized than the surrounding air, it creates a path for the electric current to flow with the least resistance from the center of the globe to your finger. So it's called a plasma ball because of those arcs you see there, that's a plasma. What's interesting about plasma is that we might not be very familiar with it here on Earth, but it's actually the most common form of matter in the entire universe. Okay, so this is the hole I made in there so that I could equilibrate the pressure inside the bulb and outside of the bulb. So the question that spurred this experiment is, can an electric arc happen in a pure vacuum? If you think about it, the answer should be no, because to have an electric arc means you need a plasma, and plasma is made out of ions, which are atoms, and there are no atoms in a pure vacuum, so there should be no plasma, no way to arc across. But from everything that I've read or was able to find out, we obviously know there's no such thing as a pure vacuum, and especially at high voltages, uh, it throws some of the atoms off of the high voltage material and so it essentially becomes its own medium for the plasma to occur. We're going to test a few things here. First, we're going to test if a plasma can happen at a low vacuum and if it does happen, does it actually happen better at a low vacuum? So the theory of why it should happen easier at a low vacuum is because it's easier to ionize gas at a low vacuum because the mean free path of the atoms is longer, meaning at normal pressure they're always bouncing off each other going back and forth, but at lower pressure they can travel a lot further before they bump into each other. And if you apply an electric field, then they can speed up a lot quicker, they have a lot more energy and they can ionize quicker. So as I reduce the pressure, I should be able to see the plasma start to form. Okay, so I've broken a hole in the plasma globe here, but it's not working right now. I have it turned on, but since I released the gas that was inside of there, uh, it looks like that it can't ionize right now. But what I'm guessing will happen is that as I, re as I reduce the pressure, it will be able to ionize better because it's easier to ionize gases at lower pressure. So I'm going to turn on the vacuum and we'll see if it can arc as it gets to lower pressure, and then we'll see if it can arc when I'm at full vacuum. Let's see. Okay, plasma globe in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, we're at 0.2 atmospheres right now. Still nothing happening. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the lights so if there's any plasma, we can see it. Okay, so we're getting down to about as low a pressure as I can go in my vacuum. Oh, and there it goes. There's the plasma. So as I remove more and more of the air, the plasma is getting stronger and stronger. That's because the air gets easier and easier to ionize when it's under vacuum because there's a lot more space for the ions to speed up and knock into other molecules and break them apart and turn them into a plasma. Okay, so you can see it pretty well now. Okay, so I am at 
hard to tell, but probably around 0 0.01 or 0 0.005 bars. And you can see that there's easily a plasma forming. Oh wow, lighting up all over the place now. So now I'm going to let a little bit of air in and see what happens, just a little tiny bit. I'm going to turn the valve, oh, and it gets weaker. So actually, the less air that's in there, the stronger the plasma gets. Okay, so at as low a pressure I can get now, it's kind of at this constant glow now. It's kind of this steady state plasma. So I'm gonna let in the air a little tiny bit and we're gonna see how it changes. What's really cool here that you might not be able to see on camera is that the plasma is extending out of the globe where I poked the hole before. So the plasma is coming out of the bulb. So it's coming out the back at the bottom there. Okay, so now you can watch this as I lit in the air. Okay, letting in air, three, two, one. I'm just barely letting in a little bit. And it's gone. Hey, thanks for watching again. I hope you like this video. If you like this video and you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing and feel free to comment in the comment section with anything you'd like to see me do next time, any questions you have, and I'll see you next time.